In this video, we're going to have a look at the range of technologies in which you can become Microsoft certified. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So certifications can be for you regardless what your role is. Whether you are somebody who works behind the scenes, like an administrator or a DevOps engineer, somebody who develops code and solutions like a developer, or somebody who creates, for instance, apps and Excel documents, then there may be a certification for you. So you can look for your certifications by clicking on your role or click Browse All Certifications here at learn.microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash certifications. And unfortunately, while you get a list of certifications, not all of these are current. For example, if I scroll down, to products and have a look at SQL Server, then you get a huge range of certifications. But out of these, only one of these I think is actually current, the DP300. All the others, if you click on them, you will get this exam retired on a particular day. So just be aware that just because they're on this page, it doesn't mean that they actually exist right now. Now, if I go down, to the search and type in iPhone 900. This gives me a range of fundamentals. And this is one of the ranges that you might want to initially explore. So fundamentals exams, they are what can be done as opposed to how can something be done. They are the entry level for everything outside of Microsoft Office. So let's have a quick look at all of the hyphen 900 certifications. So you've got Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. So this explores Azure just generally. It doesn't go in very deep into anything, but basically you need to know what the range of services available are. Now, when you go to a page like this, have a look at this green box. We have a study guide here. And if you click on the study guide, you will see more information about what specifically you need to know. So you can look at it and go, that might be of interest to me, or actually I want a different thing. So maybe in Azure you're thinking, this is fine, but I'm more of a data hands-on person. What do I need to learn Microsoft Azure for data? And that would be the DP900, which again looks at Microsoft Azure, but focuses on data, both relational and non-relational data. If you go to SC900, that is Microsoft Security, Compliance and Identity Fundamentals. And in this certification, you'll be looking at concepts such as authorization and authentication, and specifically in the context of Microsoft Azure Active Directory and other Microsoft solutions. Now you notice when I go down that there are some web pages, learning paths that you can click on and go through. However, do bear in mind, these might not be current as of the latest version of the exam requirements. These exams are reviewed every two months or so by Microsoft and, if necessary, updated. The PL900 Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals exam is all about the Power Platform, which consists of Canvas apps, model-driven apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and more. So basically, do you want to be able to build apps with no code or low code? In other words, using a more graphical interface. Do you want to be able to move data from one data source to another, maybe transforming it on the way again, not using anything other than a graphical interface? Do you want to create reports which you can then upload? That's Power BI. So you'll investigate what is possible with the PL900. So with all of these, it's an investment probably of a couple of days of your time. And then you can decide, OK, do I want to do the exam or am I happy with the information that I've gained? The AI 900 is all about artificial intelligence. So you're looking at, for instance, natural language processing. So key phrase extraction, entity recognition, sentiment analysis, language modelling, speech recognition and synthesis and translation. You can also be looking at computer vision tasks, such as computer vision, custom vision, face and form recognizer. 
and you can also have a look at bots, so having conversations with machines. There is also a range of exams which don't sort of hyphen 900 but hyphen 910 and hyphen 920. These are the Microsoft Dynamics 365 fundamentals and they come in two different exams. One which is CRM, which is Customer Relationship Management, and the other is ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. So in other words, the CRM is customer facing and the ERP is back office facing. So with the CRM, you'd be looking at Dynamics 365 Marketing, Sales, Customer Service and Field Service. And with the 920, you'll be looking at Supply Chain Management, Finance, Commerce, Human Resources and Project Operations. And then finally, you've also got exam starting MO and if you ignore all of those that just have MO in the title and look at those which actually start MO hyphen you'll see that there are some seven exams Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and also at the expert level, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Access. So if you look at one of those, the MO100 exam, then you'll see that this covers the ability to create and maintain professional looking reports, multi-column newsletters, resumes, and business correspondence. And it could be when you have a look at the exam skills outline, which is further down in this particular exam, that you're going, actually, I know how to do most of these. Well, if you know how to do all of these, then why not get a certification? That way you can put it on your CV or resume and it will look good when getting a new job or maybe even a promotion. Now the office certifications are interlinked. So if I go to the actual exam, so if you pass three out of the following, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook, so three out of those four, then you will get an additional certification Microsoft Office Specialist Associate. So Microsoft will then be saying, you know a broad range of Microsoft Office products. At the expert level, once you have got the associate certification, then you can pass two of the Microsoft Word Expert, Excel Expert, or Microsoft Access Expert exams. You may notice that there isn't a Microsoft Access non-expert exam, there's only the expert exam. So this is when you go and look at tables, queries, forms and reports. Once you've got two out of those three, then you will earn the certification Microsoft Office Specialist Expert. Now there are a range of other certifications as well. And you can browse them by looking at a role, looking at a level, looking at the exam or certification and then looking at a product. So with Azure, for instance, most of the exams you see starting AZ or MS or DP or SC on this page are current. However, I would only go into those once you have got an idea of what specifically you want to have a look at. And for those, I recommend you have a look at the fundamentals exams to begin with. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thank you very much for watching and keep learning.